blue to red for positive, pink to black for negative on the speaker wise. I use uh, two south two south type of screw right here uh, for uh, the ground. I don't want to use only one because this thing might move. That's the reason why I use two for that, so it won't move. The sanding is really good to the bare metal. And as you can see, this is a factory amplifier right here for the car. Now I'm gonna put everything back. Okay, as you can see, underneath here, what I we did, we ran a power wire. Here's a light at. We ran the power wire right there to the booth. You kind of take a flat head and push it through this boot right there and push it out with a small metal. And it came out right here. Okay, it's kind of hard to see, so, uh, but uh, hooking up the 100 amp fuse and we hooked up the remote wire to the, uh, if you're looking from the uh, steering wheel, if you're behind the steering wheel, it is on the right hand side. It's uh, right underneath the number 10 right there. As you can see right here, here's a fuse on the front. On the 10, on the right hand side. So if something happened, it popped the fuse instead of burning up some wire. Okay, the power wire, the 12 volt will go to the 12 volt, and then you got the remote wire that we ran from the fuse, and then you got the ground right there, and then now we got the uh, positive on one side, negative on one side to the uh, speakers. This is a two ohms. We'll run the RCA jack to the input and plug that to the high low converter kicker it's called kiss lock k-i-s-l-o-c 2 so now we're just waiting for the sound see what works and then we're gonna okay on the factory stereo system what you're gonna have to do you're gonna have to go to setting and go to audio click enter and then now you want to go to uh, down. So move it to the right. It's going to go down. You want to make sure the speed sensitive volume is off. Because while you're driving, if you leave it on, you're going to hear some loud noise. So that's it. And go back. And then now we're going to play the system. Uh, I don't know if we got a disc in here or not. There's no longer disc. Okay, we're going to play a. Uh, Regular music. Yeah, that's it, right there. <clears throat> that's good. We don't have a music. When they have music, they block me on, on YouTube. Uh, anyway, uh, here's this 2000 watt. Everything's already hooked up, and we're going to let it break in for three days. So. And this is kicker square, and it's supposed to be a lot louder than that, but it, the amp is a little bit too small for it. But customer's gonna take it home with him and see if it's uh, you know. And and it's better with uh, if he got a, a 1200.1, which is a kicker kicker 12 1200.1, which is a 2400 watt amp. And the uh, other guy right there, that's one of the customer right here with the glass. Yeah, he's happy right now so far, but I think it's better if he's getting a 2400 watt amplifier kickers <laughs> with the customer half. But uh, he's got one, the guy, his buddy right there. I don't know his buddy or his friend or his brother. Yeah, that's my, that's my brother. Yeah, that, uh, that, that's what I kind of thought, but you know. So, it sounds pretty good. Well, I'll say next week or so, he's gonna come back and get a 2400 watt amp kicker. It's gonna sound really good with that kicker square. There you go. Alright, well, thanks for watching. So, what do you think? I mean, what do you think? It's hitting. Huh? It's hitting. It's hitting. It's hitting? It's hitting. I know you want more, though.
That's why you're getting a kicker square, right? Yeah. Yep. Hey, you All take right. this off. Yeah, you take that off and it sounds a lot better. <laughs>